The city addresses for both the city of Lafayette and West Lafayette going to happen tonight. It'll be the first inaugural speech for the newly elected West Lafayette Mayor Aaron Easter. While well, Lafayette Mayor Tony Rozworski has given a lot of city, uh, state of the city speeches in his 21 years in office. News 18 Stacy Schooler sat down with Rozworski to talk about his speech and some of his proudest moments as mayor. She's joining us live now at Lafayette City Hall with more from that interview. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Joe. Mayor Tony Rozorski is in his sixth term in office. Now, he spent a big part of his life in public service. He retired from the Lafayette Police Department after 20 years. He then uh, was a city council member for more than 20 years, and now he's on his 21st year as mayor, pretty impressive. These state of the city speeches celebrate the community, recognize areas for improvement, and set the policy agenda for the year ahead. Rozorski says he has many accomplishments he is proud of, which include bringing thousands of new jobs and industry to the city like GE Aviation, Nanshan, and many more. Also, as a former police officer, he was thrilled to help construct and open the new Lafayette Public Safety Building last year under budget. We've made many expansions at Subaru, at Caterpillar, uh, I said bringing GE Aviation, Nanshan, the work we've done with Kirby Risk, and on all the work we've done with our other partners. So, you know, that's something that always, for me, is, is meaningful because that gives people opportunity and it gives people the graduating from our schools opportunity to stay here. Rozorski said the city will be investing 30 to 40 million dollars this year to open 1,000 acres of land for development in housing, industrial, and commercial sectors. These investments are a part of Rozorski's plans for economic development in Lafayette. Now, I did ask Rozorski what's his plans for the future when he plans to retire, and he says he's going to finish these next four years, and then he plans to do one more term. He says he has lots of energy left and lots of plans for the city. In Lafayette, I'm Stacy Schooler for News 18. Back to you, Joe.